exactly what number is this? She says it's six. She says it's nine. So who's right? Actually, they're both right. They just saw it differently since they looked at it from different reference frames. Now what exactly are reference frames? These are just a set of axes for locating space and a clock for measuring time, relative to which you make observations. I'll demonstrate. Once this car starts honking, all three observers will record its sound. But sound is a wave. Waves from a moving source, like the car, get bunched up in front and looser at the back. So for our case, those behind the car should hear the loose sound waves, a low pitch, while those in front should hear a high pitch sound. When I analyzed the recordings, that was exactly what I found. Similarly, if I throw this ball close to the speed of light, its light waves would also get loosened and bunched up, making it appear as different colors. With infinitely many observers, the ball would appear to be all colors at the same time. So the really mind-blowing idea here is that observers in different frames will perceive different versions of the same reality. And every observer's frame is equally valid. So before you start making any observational arguments with others, first imagine yourself observing through their reference frames. <laughs>